morning, it's Kylie Batucci, Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia here with you for another fun session of crafting. I see we have lots in the house already. Hello everyone and we have Bruno Batucci as our monitor, moderator, monitor, <laughs> whatever he's doing, <laughs> he's monitoring all of you. No, he's waiting out for anyone who's dodgy. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, Bruno will be able to help you. But how are you all today? I've got my Beveragino all ready. Ah, all organized. I love to love a chop it. Uh, we're not doing any love at chop it today, which is a surprise. I was actually going to, I was going to do a copy, a replica, a case, what do you call, copy and selectively edit. I like that one. That's my favorite way of saying it. Bruno's amazing card this week, which a lot of people actually thought it was mine. But it is not. It is the incredible Bruno Batucci. Look how good he did that. I know. Amazing, right? So, oh, thank you, Diana. We love having Diana in the house and Carrie. So many beautiful people here. Hello over on Facebook as well. I've got your comments on this side. I've got YouTube on that side and <laughs> Facebook on this side. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I really like this color on me. I feel like it matches my my copper hair. It does like that. Oh, it says YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. So if you have any issues, so for some reason Bruno had um, a specific talk on Zoom the other day and he ran out of internet. So I'm not sure what happened there. Ah, thank you Bruno Batucci. Bruno just bought me some... Hi, Bruno. Hi, Bruno. <laughs> I, all, I said hello to, from, from all of you on, on your behalf. So Bruno just dropped off these because they're just in the house now. The, the Mini and the Mr. have arrived. They got sent to the wrong address. They got sent to Lisa and Gina. Ah, so they've been on quite a journey, these two. They went to say hello to Gina, had a cuppa. <laughs> with Lisa. They had a Beveragino. They wanted to be part of the Beveragino club. So they went for a journey and then came back to us. We should have actually got Lisa and Lisa to sign every back of the card. <laughs> that would have been really cool. <laughs> so yes, uh, if you'd like to get these, they are here and they will be shipped instantly. No more pre-order. They are here. And I figured a lot of people will be going to the Stampin' Up! on stage event. So it would be really cool if you could wear it on a lanyard. Hopefully Stampin' Up! give us a lanyard. Um, if not, I'll we'll have to get Bruno on the job to get some lanyards. Get some plain lanyards from somewhere. Surely there'd be somewhere we can get plain lanyards. I know, they're so cute, aren't they? <laughs> Gina, Gina drew them. Isn't she a smart cookie? So clever. They're really cute. So Bruno will pop up the link for that one. If he hasn't already, it's probably already in the in the description. So what have we got over on Facebook? Oh, Judith is there. Hi, Judith. Good to see you. And Denise is over on Facebook. Oh, that's lovely. Good to see you girls over there. I'm sure we'll have a few more joining us on Facebook once the alert goes through. Thank you, Linda. We love the pins too. So, yes, yeah, so Bruno's card is absolutely gorgeous. I definitely will case it. Um, it's already disappeared. Oh, here it is. I found it. <laughs> I'm like, where did it go? I actually didn't know that it was Knight of Navy. <laughs> but that's gorgeous. So that's the lovely in linen paper, which personally I don't think I've used a lot of. So if you wanted to... Love it, chop it. That's another way of doing it is not necessarily chop, but to cut them out with dies. And then he said he stuck them down onto a flirty flamingo size. If you have our card templates, he stuck them down like this and then cut very closely just by hand around the pieces. And he's got a few of them that are dimensionalized. You put them on foam foam sheets. So that's a good one. So you can go to kyliebatucci.com to check out. He did full instructions this time. 
which a few people have commented that they've really loved. So good job, Bruno. Well done to you. So what are we doing today? I decided to, I was actually, as I said, going to copy that, copy and selectively edit, but I was feeling romantic today. We've got a friend of ours who we're actually going to their engagement party this weekend and we've got their wedding coming up very soon, I think next month. Plus we have our wedding anniversary coming up in November. So I was feeling, I was feeling weddings. I was like, and someone did ask me recently, do you have any wedding suggestions? So I thought, what can I channel that will not only inspire you, but enable you to go shopping? Because we not we love to be enabled. Let's be honest. Oh, it's Kylie's fault. I had to go shopping. All these husbands hate me around the world, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy if you're happy. I'm happy to be the scapegoat. And I'm, I'm happy for you to blame me. Yeah, go right ahead. It was Kylie's fault. I had to do it. She did her video and I had to buy all those dies because that's what we're going to be playing with today. Dies! I know. There's this one here, which I haven't even touched some of these. In fact, I haven't touched any of these. They all need to be run through the machine. Bruno, I think, has had a play of some of these. So there's this one here, Enchanting Details. I feel that this will be Stunza in the corner. There's also the Artisan Editions. So I'll put all the links up for these, Artisan Editions. And there's also this one here, the Designer Tags. Ooh. So what are we going to do with all of these fun dies? Well... There's something in each one of these that I wanted to play with and have a look at and see what it looks like on our card. We may not use all of them. We shall see what happens. You never know what's going to happen. Kylie doesn't even know what's going to happen on her YouTube live. <laughs> her YouTube Facebook live could be anything really. Let's find out. <laughs> so I think I've got everything uh, in the right spot. I want to bring this a little bit closer, to be honest. TBH, as Bruno would say. So let's see if this is looking happy for all of you. Da, 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 da. Yay! Although it's a little bit, it's showing a little bit of the camera there in the corner, which I can't handle it. I just can't deal with it. So I have to do a bit of this first. Just talk among yourselves. I'm just going to shift this over a tiny fraction because every now and then it, yeah, anyway, the stand decides it wants to have a little bit of a look in as well. No, you can't. You can't go. You're not invited. Stand, Archon, you're not in. <laughs> you're not in the Beveragino Club. You can't even drink coffee, so you're not in. P.S. Here's a little close-up of the pins, just in case you miss them. P.S. This is a Cajun Craze one, not the same as our original. So you can collect the set. The next one's going to be a different colour. <gasps> what colour should we do? Knight of Navy. <gasps> that would be pretty. Oh, look at a little Beveragino. <laughs> Isn't she cute? And there's the little Mr. and Miss Skem stamp and cut in a boss machine. <laughs> little cuties. Oh, and big shout out to, to Rachel. Let me show you this amazing card here. We're all going to have to case Rachel because she's amazing. Now, I think this came from, Bruno might be able to correct me, but I think Rachel's in Montreal. I think. I don't think she's France. And I've probably tied this wrong. But anyway, this is what came in the mail. And I love that it's in French. She said, oh, I wasn't sure whether to use a French sentiment or not. But I figured you probably don't have many French sentiments, which is true. I don't have any, Rachel. So this was very exciting. Bruno will tell me exactly where Rachel's from. So here we go. It opens like this. And then you're like, what? What is going on here? 
but this sort of tucks in underneath like so and then these little sections here kind of pop up can you see that so they're not like popped all the way up like we thought maybe they were meant to be all the way up but we can see that it sort of has this diagonal look to it isn't that the coolest we love it Rachel it's really really cool and she's even got a sentiment at the bottom here and it's a mixture of the hues of happiness flowers and we think that this is the sun print paper isn't it so gorgeous we love it so yeah we'll have to give that a go and see what we can do there yeah isn't it gorgeous so thank you very much Rachel it's very very special to us especially because it came from so far away oh love it yes <laughs> I love that it's only been a month since you've had a computer <laughs> So I said in the description, I was going to actually say fun. No, what did I, what did I write? Handmade, elegant wedding card. I was actually going to say elegant, fast. And I'm like, anything that I name fast is always dangerous. So I never label anything fast anymore. Because, <laughs> you know, something that could be very fast. I find a way to, you know, have a yarn. And someone always gets on and goes, how is two hours fast? It's not fast. That's exactly the voice they use when they see my video. Two hours. <laughs> That's okay. If you, if you don't have two hours, either fast forward or go watch someone else. <laughs> I'm not the channel for you. <laughs> if you don't want to come and sit and have a beverage, you know, and a chat, off you pop. Off you go. I'm not forcing you to stay. <laughs> So, very simply, I have done, what, so, what card template size is this one? It's not gorgeous grape. I'm literally having a brain freeze because I was like, it's not Cajun Craze. Oh, Calypso, that's right. Calypso is the card size, the card template size. So, if you have our card templates, you'll know exactly what size to cut it in your country. Calypso and my other favorite layer which I always go to it's my inserts for inside my cards as well which is the poppy parade so they're the only two sizes we are using today so very simple elegant card we're going to layer that like like so and then I have a piece here for our sentiment but we're going to see of course it's going to be cut down but we're going to see what sentiments I decide to use I pulled out a variety of different sentiments last night. I was like, what am I vibing? I'll just have to see tomorrow. <laughs> I'll just have to see what I feel like. And thank you, Bruno. Bruno popped up the link for the joining too. So make sure you check that out. Uh, you can get, how much do you get free at the moment? $114 or something. <laughs> so this one here, thinking of you on your special day, I thought was perfect and a really nice let's have a look at the sizing oh I haven't used a lot of oh, I've used this one and this one but I don't think I've used the wedding one which I love using stamps I haven't used yet I think it's this one here yes oh, it's a newbie everyone yay so that's a nice size that one it's not huge I do like it to be a little bit bigger but I do like that one the other one was Let's Celebrate, which is very fun, cool font. That's in Simply, Simply Fabulous. Uh, what, else, what else have we got? No, we haven't actually updated that. We haven't needed to update the templates. Everyone seems very happy. If you have a suggestion, though, we're all ears. But we seem to be doing fine with the templates we have. Are you all good? <laughs> if anyone has any if anyone has any templates that they would like just message us <laughs> this one here wishing you all the happiness you can imagine I thought that was an excellent one too but also just the plain congratulations we could do so there's those two options we've got peaceful moments I thought this congratulations is a nice size but also 
wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. That one I think I was vibing the most because it's a really nice size and it's a really nice font. This is an oldie, but definitely a goodie. It's got a lot of great sentiments, this one. And the last but not least is this one here. I love the graceful tiles, but I love that these sentiments are awesome. So I, I thought this one here would be good, the perfect day to celebrate. So that's another one as well. Um, so lots of decisions to make. I may need all of your help today deciding what we're going to do. <laughs> but we shall see what ends up happening. So the first thing I want to do is very, very simply, I'm going to do some die cutting here and cut out some sections. And what I'm vibing or what I'm thinking of doing is using this gorgeous corner one here. So this is enchanting details. So I think it's going to cut a little bit off, but I think we should be okay because this just does the inside piece. So I'm going to cut that there. And then the incredible thing about these designer tags, a lot of people may not realize this. It actually annoyed me the first time because I did not want it to cut this way. But this rose here does not cut out the outside. It just cuts the inverse. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but you don't get a full cut flower. It just stays there, which is perfect for the card that we're making. But it wasn't perfect for the card that I wanted to make but I just had to deal with it. So let's have a look at those two to begin with, because I do like this one here as well. I think that would look really, really pretty. And it would go quite nice with that die too. But I just wanted to show you this gorgeous, enchanting, no, designer tags. I thought maybe something like that would look really good too. Isn't that beautiful? Well, maybe we can use those two and maybe I'll put, oh, I'll put this in the middle. I'll put that on the inside. So then we've used all of them. What do you think? You happy with that, everyone? I'm happy with that. Because I think that will look like, yeah, really nice on the inside. And then we get to see how they all look. And I think, yeah, that'll look really good. And then we'll just have a sentiment across there. And voila, we have a wedding card. Well, we hope so. <laughs> we hope that's how it works, right? <laughs> so I'm going to bring over my stamp and cut and emboss machine. Whoop, whoop. Do some cutting. If you don't have one of these machines yet, <gasps> what have you been doing with your life? You need them. There's so many fun dies to collect. Look at all these dies we have here. Uh, there's my plates that could help if I had the other plate so we'll line up this as best we can now this has got a pretty big um, edge so I don't really want it like that big I might need a bit of tape since I'm not sitting it on there So I want it to sort of go, not off, but, and I think that will be good on that side as well. Good, placed, and this one's nice and easy. I don't think we even need tape for this one. You can just sit over there like that. You behave over there. You be a good boy. Dum. Here we go. Whee! One thing I noticed, because we used to have the big shot, and one thing I noticed about getting this machine was the difference when you emboss. I could not get over the difference. Like even um, my team and I, we all analysed it because we were being very objective and we were willing to look at the faults and bring it all out but we were impressed very very impressed with the difference we were like yes we've made a good investment in getting the new one 
Okay, so we need that there. So you can actually bring this back, of course, and then plant that on top. Plant! And then wind that through. So this is going to be the inside of our card. Now, let me show you what these dies do, because it's very surprising. I think this will, this will really surprise you. Do you see what I mean now? I was like, oh, what? I wanted it to cut out a flower for me. What, what does it think it's doing here? Get your take your pick tool little brush and voila. Isn't that gorgeous? And it would make the best um, mask as well. Like you could do sponging with that have it like over and over again. It's really pretty. I'd love to see that sponged actually. Maybe we can have a play afterwards. And that's gonna sit inside like so. Isn't that beautiful? Having that black background, oh, so hot. If you were really, really wanting to, you could actually put the pieces back. If you like puzzles, <laughs> you wanna set yourself a challenge, you go right ahead. <laughs> You can do that. And the other cool thing actually in these, um, this is the Artisan Editions dies. This one here is actually really cool because it kind of cuts out little bits of it. And again, it just comes out of the piece. So it's a really nice sort of background piece if you've got something you're layering on top. You can use this little guy here and it, it just cuts out little holes which is really nice for this type of card where you've got a dark background. So that's designer tags, the rose. Designer tags, everyone. Enabling purchase, purchasing enabled. <laughs> this one here, oh, it doesn't actually work very well for this card. I should have tested it first. Let's test the other one. I think I might have to do two of these ones. I actually thought, I don't know why I thought this one stayed in. But anyway, let's have a little look at this one and see if it works for this type of card. No, it doesn't work either. <laughs> the, only, the only one that works is the rose one. <laughs> look, it can work, but it's a lot of work. <laughs> so actually what we could do, this would be an interesting test. <laughs> I love this. We're just going to be using the rose today for everyone. But this would be an interesting test because if we do have something like this, so say we've got these layers here. We've got these gorgeous layers here. It's good that it's staying in because I do like that. Now what we can do on top of, because the thing that makes it appear as though it's staying in is that all the small pieces come out, but the die stays in. So what would we be removing? We'd be leaving... So I think it would be removing these ones, wouldn't it? Bruno will be good at this. He'll know exactly which pieces would come out. Because I want these flowers to stay. But I think it's these pieces here that need to go. And the rest can stay. So we could do it. We could still do this, peeps. We could have fun with this. You can sort of just poke out all the pieces that you don't want. But I want like that one because that one's joined to the whole thing. So you'd have to be very careful what you pop out. The other thing that I could do is, and this might be an easier version. Let me think of this. I got it. Okay. So what you could do is you take out the whole thing. Yes. Then you take all your pieces out and then we're going to insert it back in. That's quite simple, isn't it? Let's do that then. And then this means this technique you could use with anything. I don't know why I thought these dies did the same thing as the rose, but isn't the rose cool? So pretty. Oh, I don't think that actually comes out. It's just a emboss. Okay. So let's have a look at this. 
So it will sit on the card and we could even, wouldn't it be cool if, like if you wanted to, you could even do this a different color, but that actually looks really pretty. Let's see it on top. Yeah, I do like that. That's very pretty. That's going to be removed, of course. And that's actually really simple to do. And you don't have to stick it right down. You could just have some pieces showing up like this. This little piece, this guy here, I would love him to be <clears throat> in the black. So maybe I could like do some surgery. Close your eyes, everyone. <laughs> avert your eyes <laughs> look away no no twigs were hurt in the um making of this card oh yes now they have been i like that sort of back that look of that being in black so we can do it down here as well Looks good, doesn't it? And then this piece. So you could do this with quite a few of our dies where you just cut it out and then put the inverse back in. <gasps> yeah, I like that. That looks really good. I'm glad I I'm glad I did that. Because it just brings out more of that background you like that now with this guy up the top let's do some surgery on him it's such a beautiful die like I really really love this die it looks like everything's cut out really nicely so we've got these pieces here that are going to come out these pieces here just using the pokey end of my take your pick tool because I can have a little bit more control over what comes out and what doesn't. That comes out. So pretty. That one, these pieces here, I feel like they need to be put through again. Oh, they seem all right, but these ones here, oh no, they're good. I take that back. You're all behaving yourself. But it is a very detailed die, so it is one of those dies that you might want to just run through twice just to make sure that it's it's gone through. Because, yeah, these little dots here, a few of these are just really not budging. Ooh, we're seeing lots of, ooh, yes, there's um, a technique where you can use your die to make it emboss, which is very, that would be beautiful with this, wouldn't it? I'd love to see this embossed. I did try that technique not that long ago, where you use it with your um, silicon mat, I'm pretty sure. Now this piece here is all joined. That's not. But yeah, I really, really like. I think once we sit this down onto the black, it's just going to pop hardcore. And I love how it's all like lined up. <laughs> it looks really good. Uh, and yes, I said surprise to everyone. <laughs> when it didn't cut cut through and cut it out I was like what what no you're not meant to do that <laughs> that wasn't what I had in mind last night when I was preparing you oh yeah they are coming out eventually just need to give it a little bit more force Good. I'm very happy with that. Let's just move all that out of the way. There's a couple of bits here that I can move. And if you wanted to put your um, 
stamp and cut and emboss I mean your um what's it called the mat you could put that behind pierce mat that's the one okay we're ready to see this behind the black <gasps> it's gonna look so gorgeous I like this idea of putting it back in. It wasn't what I was wanting, but I think it's going to work really, really nicely. And if you wanted to, you could even stick these, like cut another set and put it on the foam adhesive sheets. I wonder if that would be a bit too fine for that. I think that would look really hot if it was like raised up as well. Just some ideas or even a different color. You could even come in with a different color, recut it with another piece, but you know it's going to fit. You're, you've got a guaranteed mold here. Oh my goodness. Do you love it? I think I'm in love. I've just got a couple of pieces here at the back that need to come off. They're a bit stuck. Yeah, so I probably just need to run run it through another time or just get a bit forceful with your take your pick tool. But usually dies like this are pretty good if you pop them back in. You can line them up fairly well. Good. Well, I really like that. <clears throat> I'm going to stick that down. You could even do blends if you wanted to do blends you could color in certain sections with with that do a bit of masking or something like that and this cool section in the middle here you know instead of doing what i'm doing where i'm covering it this way you could actually do your sentiment through through that diagonal section it's very cool or just have a really small one because it's very pretty. But anyway, we'll have a play of the sentiments and see which one we like the best. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, what are these dies? <laughs> I know, it's so elegant, isn't it? Thank you. Oh, who said that? Bruno, did you read that? Charlotte said elegant. And Elaine said elegant. Bruno looked at my card last night, my prototype, and he's like, what's elegant about that? Oh, it's black and white. Everything in black and white is elegant. But I did listen to you, Bruno, and I did bring out some silver in case I wanted to use it. I did listen. He was just trying to be helpful, but I took great offence to it because <laughs> that's what we're good at. <laughs> but some tries help. Oh, how dare you try and help me? <laughs> so we've we've had a few people just join and they're asking, "Where's this?" From. I'm very happy about that because when people start asking what what even is this product how do I not know about it then I know I've picked a good I've picked a good one because <laughs> it's like yep you missed it too I think a lot of us missed this die it's like totally yeah undervalued and it's just gorgeous <clears throat> so the first one is in the enchanting details so there's that section there. And if you really wanted to with this type of, you know, what we're doing, you could have this in the in the corner and have these up the top and then put it back in. It's just a different way of doing it. These are very cool. And then we also use this one down here. <clears throat> I've got a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> me, me, me. Okay, I think that's better now. Just have to sing if I have a frog in my throat. This one is Artisan Editions. And it has this one as well as the... Where's the other little guy? He's gone for a walkabout. But there's another die in this set that has all the, the lines. It'll turn up in a second. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone for a walk on the desk. <laughs> As all things love to do on my desk. Oh, found him. He was underneath the pins. So this guy here. So that's Artisan Editions. And this one's good because it just cuts out the um, 
And this one here, oh, I don't know if you've used this one, but this is absolutely stunning. So you could actually do like partial and this doesn't cut out this one. Or even if you do it like that. Well, don't think it cuts out. No, because it's got the border. So that one's really pretty. I need to use this one more too. So that's Artisan Editions. And I think it doesn't go with anything. So I think that's why we've missed a lot of dies because it's not part of a bundle. And then inside the card, I've used this guy here, this gorgeous flower. And that's part of Designer Tags. So they're just three, three die sets that I thought, you know what, I'm going to highlight them today because that's the, that's the flower. So pretty. So let's do some gluing, people. And then we'll just do the sentiment. And we'll choose which one we'd like. There we go. The rectangle does cut out. Okay, so we could just insert it back in. Yep. So if you have one that cuts out, then that's your best way of dealing with that little guy. No, you, no you're not getting cut out. You're staying in. <laughs> I said go back. So I think with this one here, I know this seems really random, but we do have a really good gauge here as to where this is going because we've got this base section here that's telling us, yep, go here. And then we can stick in the other ones. That's how I would do it anyway, but you might have a different way of doing it. Now, these little bits here, I do want to stick this one in particular down. I don't mind the die, just little dotty dots there. I don't mind the die sort of being a bit free, but I don't want the encasing part to be free it's got to be stuck down okay give it a little bit of a wiggle wiggle to make sure it's in place yeah i'm happy with that Yes. And we'll stick these in. And like I said, it doesn't matter too much to me. I'm going to not put any glue on the flowers, but these bits here I can do. And with the adhesive sheets, they're really handy for something like this. The whole thing, in fact. Um, but I'm just not very good at sticking down the first time. And the other thing with adhesive sheets is you'd be sticking the whole thing down if you're going to do it. Um, which I didn't really want. I do want those little flowers to sort of, you know, pop out a little bit. Just so that it's got that sort of 3D look to it. Look at that. Just accentuates it a bit. I hope you've all been able to do some craft this week. Bruno's been really busy, actually. He was procrastinating on something else he was meant to be doing because that's the perfect time to craft when we're meant to be doing something else. <laughs> so he made like 10 cards last week or something. <laughs> Meanwhile, if I'm procrastinating, <laughs> I'd really love it if I could procrastinate and do something worthwhile in my procrastination, but no. I'll just play like Heyday or something like that. Something that has absolutely no value to my real life. <laughs> it's like I'm planting tomatoes on a virtual game that has no value. <laughs> At least Bruno procrastinates well. He chooses wise things to procrastinate with. Such a wise person. Oh, I love it. Isn't that beautiful? 
So elegantly simple. I know, it is so elegant. I agree. I do want him to come up a little bit. Very pretty. So let's have a look. And yes, anniversary card, sympathy card. I know that sounds terrible, but it, you know, sadly does happen. But just the black and white is just timeless, classy. Yeah. Sending love your way. It's just so beautiful. It's almost like I don't want to cover it. <laughs> I'm like, mm, I don't want to cover you. <laughs> so we've got the congratulations. I do like... Yeah, I do like this one here, actually. In fact, if we wanted to, this is, um, it is polymer. Love it when it's clear. You are wonderful in every way. What's this one here? Bruno hates it when it goes red. I'm sorry, Bruno. It's hurting, hurting your heart. But this one here, if we wanted to, we could actually do black emboss. And not even put a strip across. We can fill in this like white blank with some cool embellishments. What do you reckon, peeps? Or we could go down here. Oh, I think down there might even fit a little bit better and have a nice white space. Yes, white space. What I was thinking was going across like that with a across there, but it will cover some of the prettiness. I don't want to cover the prettiness. Yes, Carolyn and I thought the same. I actually don't know their wedding colours. They're going to be at a nursery, so this kind of does fit because it's plants, which is kind of cool, doesn't it? It fits nicely. So be heavy-handed with your... What are you called? I've forgotten words today. Words have escaped me today. <laughs> the embossing buddy. Yes, it came to me. <laughs> words, words are not in my vocabulary today. My brain is shut off. It's using, it's using um, low reserves. It's been a very busy week. I think every every week is busy at the moment. We're just getting back into things, and things are just really busy we're running into friends and catching up with friends and it's fairly lovely having people for dinner cooking slow cooked lamb roast yum so i think around there oh i better just stamp this just in case it's got residue on it no we're clear just in case because it does look very red, very pink. Yeah, I like that. Making sure it's lined up as best as it can. And push. Don't cover the prettiness. Yeah, I agree, Cindy. Don't cover you. It's too pretty. Now, the only danger that we have here is that the embossing powder could go inside the card, which we don't really want that. So this would possibly be something that you would plan earlier. Learn from me. <laughs> don't do what I'm doing right now. So I'm just sort of going on this diagonal little way here, just so that hopefully it's tipping this way rather than inside the the flowers but I could tape that that would actually probably prevent it from going down into these sections here how perfect is that now if you have a little bit of your embossing powder still floating around here you can just come in with your Take your pick tool and just sort of scrape it away. It releases it and then you can tap it off. Yep. Yeah. 
There's a little bit here that I want to get. Just wasn't quite covered as much as I would like. So sometimes you've got to tap, but not tap too much. You might, especially with the black, this is something that we're using a bit more often, Bruno and I. But with the black, you're probably better off using the brush than tapping too much because it does tend to pull away from the image. Oh, really, Bruno? I just heard him do a really big yawn. <laughs> Hopefully I'm keeping you calm. Hopefully I'm putting you in Zen mode and not boring you to death. <laughs> It was a nice big yawn too. <laughs> Are we keeping you from something, Bruno? <laughs> now, before we do the embossing, I will actually tip this back into the container because it always gives me anxiety. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to end up heat setting this somehow one day. Just never know what could happen on a Kylie video. <laughs> there we go. It's all safe now, people. <laughs> Coast is clear. Clear. I need to pretend I'm like a surgeon, right? Clear. Oh, that feels trapped. So Bruno and I have moved to the embossing, the black embossing, just because it's it's better um, coverage than the memento. Because the memento, it just I don't know, it just seems a bit grey. Now, what we want to do next that needs to sort of fold a little bit because it sort of gets a little bit bent with the embossing, but that's okay. It flattens. It calms the farm and slows down. Now the next step I think I'll do is some embellishments, but I don't have to go crazy here. I might even just use our matte black dots. Just simple, really. There was some um, silver sequins that I found, but I think they might be retired ones. So I just want to check before I use them. There's a set here that I really, I don't know if we have these, Bruno, but these are really cool for everything fancy sequins. So I don't know if we have this on our list. I tried to look for them, but they're really cool. And they've got like a bit of everything on here. So I was looking for another set of sequins because I do like like sequins but we do have our I mean my favorite of all time is my matte black ones oh there's the sequin dies as well what are these ones oh yeah the adhesive oh what are they I don't think we have that oh yeah maybe we do have those actually it's good to go through these and have a look like what have I got there what would I like to use? There's these sequin dies, but I think they might be a little bit too big for this card because I haven't I haven't actually used these sequin dies. I'll show you to see what they look like. Let's have a look ski and see what they look like. Uh, I think they will be in our die collection. under S. Oh, best one. So they're quite big, these ones. Let me show you. I think they might go a bit over the top on our 
project because we don't really want anything sort of taking over. But these ones here would be the ones I would consider. Anyway, we'll have a look. Let's have a play, peeps. This is how we find out about new products that we haven't got. <laughs> have a play. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut this. It's only going to be a little bit here. I actually probably don't need to cut it, you know. Let's just zoom it through like so. Oh, here he is. I'm like, where did our stamp and cut and a boss machine go? <laughs> uh, yes. And I'm very visual, so it's like I need to see it to know. Like, do I want to use that? Yo, I don't know. <laughs> Boom. Okay, let's have a look at these guys. Whoops, there goes the big shot plate. So in the silver, they look amazing. When I first saw these dies, I was like, what? Ugly. No. What was Stampin' Up! even thinking? But they're actually quite cute. I just feel like they need to be a little bit smaller because they're very large. That's the only thing. They sort of take up a bit too much of my space there. But they are pretty. I just wanted to show you them. So you can do some more die enabling shopping. Because I'm sure you have a project that would be perfect. This would be these would be really, really good, in fact, for um, shaker cards and things like that. If I did do it, it would be something like that. But I think they're just a little bit too big. They detract a little bit. But anyway, if you like them, you go for gold. But I think I'm going to go for our beautiful matte black dots. Where I know exactly where they are. Well, I did last night. Yes. There's these guys too. Classic matte dots. I do like them because they've got the small and the large. I love these embellishments. They do make a big difference to a white space like this. And remember, if you wanted to, you can use the palette one. So you can use this one here, the palette, or I like to use this guy here for my embellishments. And I think I'm going to do... I want to do a few up in this little spot here. So I might end up doing five on this one. But we shall see. Yeah. I think we're doing five peeps. Now, I don't like how these are sitting, so what I'm going to do is go for, because that's five, I think I'm going to do just a little bit longer, because, yeah, the you don't want it the same direction, but you don't want it to... Oh, I do like that a bit better. And I think we'll bring this guy in here a bit. This is the cool thing about these dots is you can kind of move them around even after you've stuck them, <laughs> which is very handy for someone like me who changes their mind. No, don't like the way it looks there. <laughs> so I'm sort of keeping that white space. But it's got some fill in there. I 
think I'm going to go seven peeps. Yes. And I'll do another little dotty there. This is like an all out card. And it would look really, really good with um, like a silver, silver dots. Really pretty. Just feel like these two aren't happy. So I think I might do that instead. But not the same direction as this guy up here. I think I'm going to do that. Yes. But then that changes this direction. Oops. He missed his little... If his little backing goes, then your your um, stabby tool is your best friend. Because it can happen. And that's okay. We forgive it. And you can just use your tool to just layer that up. You can see it's on the end of my tool now. And I can pop it back on. Nothing to look at here. Everything is fine. So I think I'm going to go... You can even hover like this. This is a good way of gauging where your eye is happy. Yes, I like it. I really like that. I think having the two closer, I think it needed just a little break in between. So there you go. There's my really, really elegant <laughs> wedding card for you all. What do you think? And then we've got inside with this beautiful rose and we'll, we'll even go all out in here and pop a little, few little gems. Because why not? We've got them here, people. Let's use them. We deserve it. Well, whoever we give it to deserves it. <laughs> mm, yeah. Ah, oh, I love it. What do you think? So it was actually quite easy. It's quite a simple card, but I think it's very effective. Sometimes these simple ones that look complex. I think it, people would look at that and go, what? How? Wh huh? But you saw it here. It is not difficult to do. And there's quite a lot of dyes that you could do this with, which is a bit exciting. You like it? Ah, good. I think the matte black dots look wonderful. Yes. Five top two under total of seven. Yes. Yes. I like I like three, five, or seven. They're my they're my go-tos. Yeah, I really like I actually like this white space in here too. I think it looks really good. Oh, thank you everyone. You're not mailing it so you can go to town. It's so true. <laughs> Put layers. <laughs> it does look like a wedding card, doesn't it? It has a wedding card. I think just the black and white, really elegant and beautiful. And if you wanted to really, like, you could even step it up again. You could even put some of this beautiful silver behind if you wanted to. Yeah, it'd be quite exciting what you can do with this card. And I'd love to see your different versions, even maybe what you could do with this one here. <clears throat> I'd love to see. In fact, I want to have a little look and see what this looks like. Let's just have a little play here because we can. Why not? Look what look what time we're at. We have one hour. What? What even? Kylie finished in one hour. What's happened here? We actually have a team crafting session this afternoon. So if any of you are thinking about joining... You'll get to join us for a, a craft session with Nancy Hepka this afternoon. She's doing some mystery stamping for us, which is very exciting. And the cool thing about our Crazy Crafters team is that we have these monthly card classes on Zoom together. We do a lot of things together on, on Zoom, which has been really nice, especially with the last couple of years. It's been really tough for a lot of us. So it's nice to be able to have a community of people that you can come to and vent your spleen talk to talk to ones who understand what we're going through which is really nice so yeah if you live in Australia and you're looking for a team 
to join, then we would love to help you. Now I'm just going to flip this machine because the handle is on the wrong side. That should work now. Yes, there's a special at the moment. Bruno will pop up. I've forgotten how much you get for free. I think it's 114 for free, which is crazy amazing. Sorry, I've got a microphone cord right in the way. <laughs> I'm like trying to trying to turn the turn the um, handle. There's like a cord right there. <laughs> So let's have a look. So this cuts out. Yes, it does. Whoever said it cuts out, you are correct. <laughs> that is right. But as we learned in our previous technique, as long as you line it up right, I mean, this isn't perfect by no means, but, you know, it's handmade. So it is what it is when, you, when it's handmade. This is a really, really beautiful die. In fact, I would love to do this where I put all of these back in again. Wouldn't that be fun? I'll do all different colors. It would be like a huge amount of work, but I think it would be a lot of fun because I love puzzles. So why wouldn't I love doing something like this? I'm sure there's someone that's probably done it. <laughs> someone who's as crazy as me. But it actually would be, yeah, I think it would be really good. I'd probably put adhesive sheets on the layer below and then pop them in bit by bit. All different colours. Would look hot. Would I do a black border? I think I'd do a black border, not white. See, I'm already having visions, everyone. I'm already there. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. <gasps> Stunning! And so I happen to have a pre-cut piece here just in case. I thought, oh, I'll just leave that there just in case. And we'll do my favourite way of scoring the card just up in the corner here. Up in the corner, on the side, get your bone folder, squish, and go across. And you can do this on your um, Stamparatus as well to get perfectly folded cards. I know. The trimmer is amazing and so is the Stamparatus. So it's going to look like that. And then it's going to look like that. Oh my goodness. How gorgeous is that? And it's so simple. I'm just like totally vibing Art Deco right now. It feels like a framed piece of gorgeousness. And then literally we can just put like a tiny, we'll just put a tiny, tiny sentiment that's embossed in black. And we've got the most gorgeous Art Deco. This could even be a wedding card, people. <gasps> Maybe we can raise this. Should we do that? I think we should. It would be really good if this was on foam adhesive, wouldn't it? Wow. That would look hot because that will sit inside and that will be raised. Like so. Anyway, for the sake of us just playing around, but yes, I think that would look really hot with foam adhesive. Just giving you some more ideas, all right, for these beautiful dies. So, you know, if you weren't sold completely, I'll just have to get you across the line. <laughs> Enable engaged. <laughs> there we go. Enabling engaged. Is there a sound effect for that? I think I just made it up. I think I just did the sound effect. So the cool thing about this one is that you've got all these little spots here to adhere it down. 
but this would again be a very very good one to do with adhesive sheets but I always forget I'm so bad I'm like oh I should have used adhesive sheets who else does that oh adhesive sheets are the best but I'm always forgetting to put them on because I'm never like that organized oh my goodness I stinking love this card already <laughs> there's like nothing to it <laughs> <laughs> Jigsaw fun. Yes, it would be so good. <laughs> like you're spending all my money. Yes, I do need an engagement card. That's very clever. So what can we put on this? Congratulations. I think I feel like this is very Art Deco inspired thoughts. Doesn't this look like Art Deco writing to you? Just, yeah, just feel, I'm vibing it. So I'm going to do this one. Congratulations. I'm also going to do thinking of you on your special day because an engagement is a special day as well. So let's do those two. So I've got thinking of you on your special day and congratulations. And we can compare the pair. Ooh, haven't used the congratulations, people. How exciting. We love to use a new stamp. Ooh, something fell out there. Come here, little guy. You pop back in there. <clears throat> so we've got all our got all our tools here all ready to go so I'll pull these backings off and I've got some basic black there ready to go and I've got my grid paper from before that I like to use as a catching I do actually have a black oh yeah here he is I'll use this guy because I do have an, an old black tray but if you want to get like a couple of these trays they're in the mini because they're very very handy although I don't need this card in here it's these that are going to go in there <laughs> okay where are our blocks we've got one two congratulations and thinking of you and it doesn't matter how these get stamped on because we're going to cut them out <clears throat> but oh sorry for knocking you but we have lots and lots of embossing buddy on here okay remember we can always wipe this off after so it's going to look a little bit cloudy and it's like oh I don't want to put that much on there because it ruins the color no it comes right off when you use a tissue you'll never know but one thing that's good oh yeah I'm not using black I'm using the white one thing that's good is um yeah just come straight off when you wipe it and then you won't have any flying pieces that you don't want in your project okay so we've got two to choose from here because sometimes I really like just the one, like the congratulations, but it might look okay with the, the other one. So I've got my white tray. This is the tray I use for the white. So we have designated trays for depending on what color, because you don't want, you know, black filaments going into your white. That would be terrible. So it's just a little bit down here that's caught. It happens. It's okay. Just come in with your little tool and knock that off. You knock that off, all right. And do some embossing. <clears throat> Where are my little tweezers? I'm like, ow, ow, I'm getting burnt. And then I'm like, why am I getting burnt? I've got tweezers here that are especially for this. That's better. Having the right tools really does help. <laughs> Less pain. Voila. 
Now, I'll show you here with the tissue. I'll just tip this back while I can. Don't you love these trays? So good. I'm so glad they came back because it's the only, only, only thing I've ever kept. <laughs> And people used to ask all the time. I had to stop using them in my videos because it was the only thing I ever kept that was retired. <laughs> like, no, that is not leaving. It's so handy. Yeah, to see Stampin' Up! bring it back again is like, yes. <clears throat> Stampin' Up! listen to us, people. So look at that. Perfect. It's like no embossing buddy was ever here. And then we can do a little bit of surgery. I'm actually just going to snip it. I could use, actually, I wonder if there was, there was a die here, I think. Let's have a look. I don't really want anything big, though, because this is a bit too big. I Bruno played with this one with his card, The Beautiful Shapes, if you're looking for another die enabling session. <laughs> That was, a bit, that was with Bruno's card. So, yeah, you may want to get that as well. <laughs> Added to all the dies that you want to get today. <laughs> but there was one here. Maybe I saw it. Oh, yes, I saw this one here. But, no, that's not going to fit. So, snipping it is... And look, there's plenty of other dies that you could use if you don't like snipping. But I am actually a snip advocate. I do love to snip. <clears throat> Here we go. wonder which one's going to be the winner. Winner, 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 chicken dinner. Ooh, so beautiful. So the other drama that we've got is where do we place it? Oh, my goodness, so many decisions. Oh, I do love that too. And it could sort of sit... On the edge of where oh, don't you hate it when you make it hard for yourself <laughs> I think it's one of the hardest things it's decision making and card making it's like well, but I like them both they're so beautiful okay which one are we going for people I think I'd do congratulations if I did congratulations I'd do it there on a dimensional <clears throat> number one Number two would be thinking of you on your special day and it would be nested here in the corner. I don't think it, yeah, it needs to be nested on the side here. So lock it in, peeps. What do you think? Oh, hello, Desi Scott from Adelaide. Taylor says option two. Which one's option two? Congratulations or thinking of you on your special day. You can do thinking or congrats. I feel like I've got a little bit of a mark up the top there. Gone. This is another thing that Stampin' Up! need to bring back. We need to put it in our, in our requests. <laughs> congratulations but where you'd put the other one I just feel like this is a little bit skew if here it's a bit too long to sit on the edge there it counter it the whoa, it just t tipped over <laughs> thinking thinking <laughs> someone jumping on would be like wow why are there all these people thinking <laughs> just a little bit crooked that's better thinking congrats 
Oh, I think thinking of you is, is getting the win. And we're going to raise it up too. So it can hold its own. Isn't it pretty? Oh! I like it here. It's so pretty. Oh, now I'm like, do I put it in here? I think I'm actually going to do it there. It is very, very pretty. Isn't that gorgeous, everyone? So pretty. I know. I think we're going to lock in thinking, but I actually think we're going to put it here in the middle. God, I took it back. This is my prerogative. I can change. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, and someone said on white too. That would look really good. Yeah, it does look awesome right there, doesn't it? I don't want to put it there though because it could look like it has little circles underneath it. Yes, I really, really love this, people. <gasps> oh, get out. And look how simple that was. Can you believe it? Get out of town. Yeah, that's how easy it is, peeps. So I want to see more of these type of cards. So simple to just get a die and put it back in. Just pop it right back in. I know, it's so lovely, isn't it? I think I think we have a theme running for our friends. I think Celine and Levi will love these cards. They'll get their engagement one this, this week and then the wedding card next month. All set to go. Thank you, everyone. You've got me set up for the month. <laughs> yeah, the black and white is just beautiful, isn't it? So pretty. And I think that that will be really nice. We could put, we're not sure what we're going to do for their um, engagement gift, but we might have a little um, section that I can put inside with a, a voucher or something like that. If we wanted to put a voucher in there, we could. Because <clears throat> you can easily just use a piece of the diagonally and use a piece or even some of these beautiful um, pockets have you seen that really cute miniature pocket it's really really good for um, for gift cards see my words have gone today gone out the door bye bye I had words but they left my brain so pretty and what have we got over here? Ooh, my tummy had a little bit of a rumble then. Rumbling tummy. I cooked the yummiest dinner last night. I made like tikka masala. I just used something I had already. Some paste and then yeah, I think that will look good. Will that fit with this look? Hmm. It's a bit geometric, isn't it? And it's like more of a geometric look. But yes, it was so yummy. And we sat outside and it was so pretty. Maybe something like that. I can just stamp something there. Pretty. But I did see this paper, actually. The black and white paper. And I was eyeing it off today and I thought ooh, that actually will go really nicely with the cards that I'm making today so I could po possibly sit that up there I think that will go quite nice with that <laughs> so maybe we can just do a strip of design oh see I did I can't help myself I do have to love it chop it I like to love it chop it can't help myself even when I say I'm not chopping I am a lad I made up. I made up a story. My life without chopping, chopping just wouldn't be the same. I just couldn't do it. Couldn't survive. I need to chop. I like the smaller one better. Yes. 
That actually looks really... This paper will look really good with Bruno's um, technique that he does. What's it called? Scrappy strips. Because they almost look like a um, barcode when you chop it. We've got to do the inside, right? Can't have any nudie runs. And then I'm all ready to go for this Sunday. Whoa! Love it! Love it! There we go, peeps. Yes, so elegant. I love that you all keep saying so elegant. <laughs> Makes me laugh. <clears throat> yes, a gift certificate for their favourite petrol station. Yes, we need petrol station vouchers these days, don't we? <laughs> Petrol's so, so crazy expensive. Yeah, we could even put like a little, if you wanted to, something like this. What's, what are these ones? The iridescent pearls would be lovely. Put one of those in the center. Let's try it. Let's see what it looks like. I do love an iridescent pearl. There you go. You could have that. Whatever you like. Bit of a pearl in the middle. Or even one of the um, matte black. I mean the... Um, I, I very rarely use these white ones, so maybe I should use a white one in the center. Let's get our picky picky tool. You are coming up. Surgery. Goodbye. He can go back on his little... He was never used. He's fine. He will be used again. There we go. Little white one. You just got to make sure that it's even on, evenly distributed. And if you wanted to, you could even add some in there, or even the um, that beautiful enamel. I've always got it on my desk because I just love it so much. The enamel effects that would be really cool as well. You could just do some of those. But yeah, there you go. Bit of fun, but I think I actually personally like it without. I know that's random, but looking at it, I feel like this part here matches all those. It's weird, isn't it? It's such a simple, simple card, but I really like it. I don't feel like it needs any embellishments, but you go for gold. <laughs> you go crazy. <laughs> but don't you love that I put them on them like that? Just pull them off. <laughs> That's because of our take your pick tools. <laughs> well, thank you everyone for coming and joining me today. That was really fun. I, I genuinely enjoyed that. And I changed last minute. I was like, no, I'm going to do wet. I feel romantic today. <laughs> Yay. Thank you, everyone. We did two. <laughs> this is a first, isn't it? So we'll have to definitely give this a go. And these beautiful, beautiful dies. I hope I've enabled you to go shopping today. Um, you've got the Artisan Edition. Um, we've got the... We looked at the sequins, the designer tags. And what was this beautiful one here? I love, love, love this one. This was the Enchanting details enchanting details that was that gorgeous one there oh so many pretty ones and then bruno used the beautiful shapes so if you don't have that in your repertoire get it in there get it in your collection so thank you very much it was so lovely catching up and if we can do anything at all to help you here in australia or even if you're in other places around the world, we have tutorials, we have lots of 
training for demonstrators if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So anything that we can do to support you either from a creative point of view or from a business point of view, we would love to help you. So just contact us and we're happy to um, give you some support, whatever, whatever it is that you need. Oh, thank you, Patricia. Thank you. Thanks, Kathy. You never know what's going to happen on a Kylie video. <laughs> so that worked out well. <laughs> we didn't have any disasters today. Oh, don't talk too soon, Kylie. <laughs> There's still time for my coffee to spill. <laughs> so remember, 2 o'clock today, which is in about an hour and a half's time. <laughs> I'm like, counting, count 12.30. No, it's actually... It's actually later, two and a half hours time. We're doing a Crazy Crafters catch up, our team catch up for the month. So, oh, the card making class is awesome. Thank you, Charlotte. I want to put some more up there too, actually, in the card making class. Some brand new, brand new videos, exclusive videos on there. <laughs> oh, thank you, Bruno. Bruno said my cards are really elegant. <laughs> Thanks, Bruno. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I just got here, so I'm going to have to see the rerun for those beautiful cards. I'm so happy, Robin. Yes, please rewatch. And if you are watching the replay, please let us know. We love what, seeing how many of you are watching the replay. And yes, Caitlin, we'll definitely see you on Zoom on the Crazy Crafters. So if you want to join our team, if you join today, then you can come and join us on Zoom. So thank you all very much. If there's anything at all we can do to help you, let us know. And we've got the pins, we've got tutorials, we've got training, we've got all sorts. So anything we can help you with, we'd love to. Have a wonderful week, everyone. I know. Thank you so much. And we'll see you all soon. Bye, everyone. Bye. I miss you already. <laughs> don't go. Please don't go. <laughs> I don't want to leave. <laughs> See you, everyone. <laughs> Crazy Kylie. <laughs> Bye. See you, everyone. Bye.